Hello everybody, my name is Mike from Matt Gaming, and welcome to a probably shit indie horror game from Itchio! I mean, sorry, welcome to 6am, an indie horror game from Itchio. I have no idea what I was saying there. Don't really need to explain much more, let's just go straight into it. It's called 6am. Apparently it's about overworked and underpaid, staying late at work, that kind of stuff. I work in an office. A very dull office. It's very grey. There's no personality here whatsoever. And there's a light on second floor manager room key card, which has just been left on the table, which apparently I can't pick up. There's some ominous music in the background. And I think that's a, is that a stamina bar? No, because I can't sprint. Is that my is it a health bar? It must be a health bar. To be honest, why would you stay this late? The door is locked. It requires a key card. Of course it does. There's one on the desk. I can't pick it up. So I'm going to have to look for alternate methods of getting through that door. Probably a sledgehammer. Probably just whack my face against it. <laughs> the giant spider. Oh, God. Okay. I try not to go into these kind of games with high hopes. Because I know how easily they're dashed. Like, let's, can we just go see the spider? I just want to. I want to see the spider. I want to be surprised one day. There's a stapler. There's. I don't know about the math Third floor. They all need key cards. I want to just one day start up an in the horror game and just genuinely be like, "Wow, that was amazing. That was brilliant. Thank you for making that game. I am just so." glad to have played it. I don't think this is going to be that game. I'm going to try not to be too horrible, but it is very... I, do you know what? I always wait, and I purposely wait until like midnight to play these games. Beca oh, God. Because I know I'm tired, and when I'm tired, I get very mouthy. It sounds kind of weird, and normally you'd think, well, if you're tired, you start feeling sleepy. I do. But I also start getting quite mouthy when I play games. And for me, playing a game like this, it's a good thing. Trust me. I know how I work. But still, I'm wandering around an office, generally not knowing what the hell I'm doing. There's a spider? Huh. It's just going to, like, be jump scares out the corner of my eye. And I'm going to see it in the distance. And there's going to be shadows. I don't know what else to expect. Not much. Am I leaving work now? Is this this what wait, what's this? It's the second floor east wing key card, but I can't frickin' pick it up! Okay, this is obviously the entrance, right? This is where the security guards Fuck the doors are locked. I need to get into Adam's office so I can unlock the floor three and and open the doors for the security station. Yeah, as I was saying, this is basically where the security guards sit, judging everyone all day. Oh now I can pick up the cards. Holy shit! Don't show me the cards and then not let me pick them up. Please, that is annoying. Okay, so there's also a card upstairs from where I came from. And the spider's pissed off somewhere, probably into- Oh, for God's sake. What is that thing? What is this? Is that an alien? That is a f What? What? So it's aliens. Oh, hold shift key to run. So it's aliens, or is it spiders? I don't know. I, I'm I'm so confused. Okay, so this is where I came from. This is the start of the game. This is the not this bit. This bit. No, no, it is this bit. This bit. There's the key card. It's here. This is the second. I still can't pick it up. Second floor manager room key card. Is that what I picked up downstairs? I don't know. Why is there set rules about when I, when I, ugh. Hello. Oh, there's a bloody spider. Come on then. Do you know what? For God's sake, I am not an arachnophobe. You don't scare me. Just do one, all right? You know what I was saying? I get mouthy, right? When I record these games at midnight. I don't think it's mouthy. I don't think mouthy is the correct word. It's locked. Where did Adam leave the key card? Did he give it to Sarah? She look by her desk. She sits next to me. For God's sake, that is the bloody card that I saw earlier. Uh, yeah, and as I was saying, I don't think mouthy is the correct word. I think sarcastic, dry, there's another spider. Go on. All right, fine. Look, I could dance all night, guys. I could dance all night. Oh, there's another one. I 
I've got a health bar, but they kill me in one hit. Yeah, I'm gonna search the key card, the desk for the key card. But it's kinda hard when I'm being pursued by dickheads like this. What is that bar about? Is that my sprint juice? No, it's not. What is it? Is it health? Oh, they're, they're, they're getting me in the corner now. Hang on, I just instantly... I am immortal. I can respawn instantly without a spawn point. There's no fear in this game. Making me start again. Make the... Oh. I love the guy with the drum playing in the background. There we go. We got the key card to the third floor key card now because we have to follow each step exactly. The spiders are coming to get me. I haven't seen the spider in about three minutes. There's a third floor. Here's the key card for it. Dun, dun, dun. The third floor just looks just as boring. There's another spy. That's not the spider. That's the alien. Hi, eight. God, I'm going to instantly respawn exactly where I was. And he's still there, except he's lost interest in me now. Because I respawned and I think I get some, like, immunity for about a second. I've unlocked all the main doors. Dun, 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 dun. This music's really bad. I am going to run and get out the building. Here is an alien and his cohort of spiders. He's probably going to kill me. He did, but it doesn't matter because I could just respawn instantly. I should start a rap career. I really shouldn't. That's a bad idea. God, shut up, Midnight Mike's brain. I hate you. Down to the first floor we go. Now the music stopped. I can't rap when there's no bloody music playing. Hello, spider. You are so freaking dumb. Come on, this way. Dun, dun, dun. The spider's coming to get me. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why. What have I done to upset the spiders? I'm always trying to let them out. Oh god, this is I'm so sorry guys. Jump on the desks. There we go. We got No, see I respawned, but exactly the same place, so I can just keep running. There's no there's no fear in this. I'm just holding shift and moving. I don't understand why this is as it is. Are the main doors unlocked? Yes! I escaped! Oh yes. Do you know what? Do you know what? I don't... I Like, the map's not bad. I'm trying to think of positives. I genuinely am. The map's not bad. The mod monster model's good. I'm gonna su suggest it's probably um, a bought model. Or a free model. I don't know why there are spiders. I don't know why there's an alien. There's literally no explanation for any of this. I don't feel connected to this game. I know it's a free indie game. But SCP Containment Breach is a free indie game and that is freaking amazing. I know that has source material to work with, but it does it in a really good way. And I will always forever hold SCP Containment Breach as the benchmark of free indie horror games. If you're not as good as SCP Containment Breach... Okay, maybe this is your first game. Maybe it is. I would say... You really, 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 really need to work on your world building. And you really need to work on your respawn mechanic, your scares. Because I felt nothing. Literally nothing. I felt no fear. I felt no joy. <laughs> there was just no emotion. It was just a bland game. And I, I hate being so critical. But I don't know any other way of saying this. Okay, we've got rid of the drum soundtrack now. This is 6 a.m. I'm not happy with it in any way, shape, or form. And it's been a while since I've said that about a game. Normally, I'll find some good things about a game. And I'll be able to sit here and talk to you about how I think this game should be given a chance. Or how I think this developer should be given a chance. I don't know with this game. The map's good. The map's good. I'm sorry. The map is the map is all right. Like, but the it, it's so inconsistent. I mean, I'm I'm more than happy for you to be very pissed off with me right now. But honestly, I am. I'm just, yeah. I don't feel anything towards this, and that makes me angry. It does, because I think 
all indie developers should have positive things said about them. And I think that this is... I'm angry with myself because I can't think of anything really positive. But I hope, for hope's sake, that the developer maybe learns from this game. That's my, that, this is what I'm going to take. I'm going to take some positivity to end this video. I hope that the developer learns from this game. And I hope the developer comes back with something better. That you've learned what went wrong with this. Because there's a lot. And that you come back. And that I, I'm more than happy to play it. Um, genuinely. I really I, I want I want to play your, ne your new game. Just to try it. But please. Please make it better. Ha! <sighs> I'm sorry guys. I'm so sorry. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video for some reason, please don't forget to leave it a like. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe for new daily videos. Also, ring the bell because I do upload daily. And then you'll know exactly when I upload. And I'll see you again soon.